so distraught. My dumplings fell apart when I steamed them last week. Just look at this. The skin fell apart. And then they're sticking to the bottom of the pot. And then they are soggy. So I'm going to have to play a detective here to figure out what is not working. So I'm going to have to experiment today to figure out which flower combination will work so I can have nice steamed dumplings that are at least on par with the glutinous cousins you can buy at any Asian supermarket or get from the Chinese takeaway. The question I have is, the dough fried up so nicely. And what will I have to modify to make sure it steams up nicely? I'm thinking about the difference between frying and steaming a dumpling. And when I fry a dumpling, I trap the moisture inside of the dumpling because oil and water don't mix. It feels like I'm back in school learning about basic chemistry and getting into a fair amount of trouble. The dumpling gets wrapped in oil pushing all the moisture inside, making sure the inside is nice and moist and the outside is golden brown. Just how I like my dumplings. When I steam my dumpling though, it's like I'm giving my dumpling a facial. I'm forcing the pores to open up, push more moisture inside, which then expands the dough. For that to happen though, the dough needs to have a lot of flour that likes to expand and soak up moisture like crazy. And then the dough might get a tad sticky. My original recipe used a lot of sweet rice, which is also called glutinous rice or sticky rice. And that soaks up tons of water while it's cooking. And also absorbs a lot of the steam, making sweet rice very sticky. I'm also steaming my dumplings. If I use too much water or a crappy rice cooker, when I cook my rice, I have the same problem as with my dumpling. The rice is way too soggy. Ugh. And that's the same problem I have with my dumplings. So yes, I think the sweet rice or glutinous rice is my problem. It absorbs way too much moisture during the steaming process. So I'm going to replace some of the sweet rice with white rice flour so I have still a binder in my dough. Before I replace the white rice with the sweet rice flour, I do want to know though how much stickier is sweet rice versus white rice flour to have a better idea how much to substitute. Think of sticky rice like epoxy compared to like paper glue. Let's look what happens if I cook both of them and if there is a difference really. Looking at my sticky rice, I'm noticing there's a little bit of a film, almost like a little bit slime between the different rice kernels, which holds it a little bit tighter together than when you look at regular rice, uh, regular cooked rice. What would explain why sweet rice is so much stickier than plain white rice? Something still bothers me. I'm not quite sure if the rice flour is strong enough to keep the shape of a dumpling. I need something that when it gets steamy, it gets stiff. What makes me think of starch? Do you know what else they use starch for? They use starch to iron your shirts to make it nice and stiff. Let's try a combo where I reduce the sweet rice amount, add white rice flour, and starch to make sure the dumpling is a bit stiffer. I'm going to try different experiments where I'm trying to use different ratios between the white rice flour, the sweet rice flour and the starch just to see what will hold better when it's being steamed and fried. I'm going to keep the same amount of hot water and oil just to make sure I have not too many variables going on. I'm going to mix all the ingredients of my different variations and need three different doughs. I'm going to use the same pork filling I used in last week's dumpling recipe. I'm going to roll out my different doughs and then with a biscuit cutter cut out the different dumpling wrappers. And then I'm going to add my pork filling to the different dumpling wrappers and make my different dumplings. Uh, I'm showing it in my last week's YouTube video how I actually wrap them. Now the moment of truth. I'm going to start setting up my pot and add around one inch of water and get it to a boiling point. In the meantime, I'm going to arrange my different dumplings in my bamboo steamer. I'm going to steam now my different dumplings for five to six minutes. And the winner is the second dough recipe. I succeeded with my steamed dumplings and the wrapper is nicely intact. 
There are no breakages in it. It looks beautiful, a nice steamed dumpling and it held its shape. I hope you enjoyed learning today about the different types of rice flours and how they possibly affect your gluten-free recipe. If so, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, check the bell for notifications about any upcoming videos and if you have any thoughts, comments, feedback, ideas for recipe, please pop them below into the comment section. I see you next week. Bye.